While the media anxiously, in some cases breathlessly, await the Russia report, the New York Times says that some of Bob Mueller's investigators believe William Barr failed to portray their findings as more troubling for the president than he indicated. That according to government officials and others familiar with their simmering frustrations. And joining me now here in Studio One is Rudy Giuliani, the president's personal lawyer. Welcome. Uh, Howard, so these, how are you? I'm great. Uh, some of these unnamed sources telling the Times that the Barr summary doesn't reflect the damaging evidence they say they have on the president. Are you concerned, first of all, about these leaks? I'm very concerned about the leaks. I'm not concerned about the report. I'd like the whole report to be out. I think we can handle it. I think it'll show that the president didn't do any of the things he's been accused of. Let me stop you right there. You would like the whole uh, I would like Mueller the whole report, report out. I mean, I, I, I can't do that because I can't I deal with the grand does jury. Does the president want the whole report out? Of course he does. And without redactions? The president would be very satisfied if the whole thing came out. But it's up to the attorney general. I'm not, I am a lawyer and I realize that Democrats are exploiting the fact that the AG is in a difficult position. There's grand jury secrecy, there's classification, there are reputation issues to consider, and there are ongoing investigations. Right. It's a minefield. But putting that aside, uh, that leak really indicates all you need to know about Mueller's uh, prosecutors. Leaking like that, and they don't leak, that's been the biggest canard uh, in this investigation. Journalists they did who covered the investigation said it was a very tight ship, but until yeah. now, clearly yeah. there has Journalists been a leak. covering the investigation would call me up and say, we just got this from the special counsel's office. How do you respond to it? And it could have only come from the special counsel's office. There are memos they only had that were put out. Why? How about CNN being there when Roger Stone's uh, house was raided in the early morning hours? CNN says it wasn't tipped off uh, by Mueller. Oh, they just kind of figured they're going to be there that day? So, but, okay, why shouldn't put a newspaper, that aside. Why shouldn't this a newspaper is a clear report? Leak. If the story is true, why shouldn't a newspaper report that Mueller's prosecutors feel that this is not an adequate Something wrong okay. with the newspaper, something uh, wrong with the prosecutor. But here's, here's what it tells me. It tells me they don't have anything. Because if they were malicious enough to do that, and they had a smoking gun, they wouldn't have just said in general, you know, we're, it's very damaging. They would have said, in fact, a good reporter would have asked, give me an example. Well, they might have asked. But they didn't get an answer. Right. There isn't anything. <laughs> well, sources close to Barr say he's unhappy in the same time story, uh, being put in a position of having to decide on whether to indict on obstruction because Mueller essentially punted on that point. But here's the thing. House Democrats, as you know, Mayor, um, have moved to subpoena the report. Um, and the, you, But the, the White House has a problem with that. The White House has a problem with their getting the report? Are you Well, getting the report... It? With the grand jury information in there, on well, the that's theory that the AG. they will pro they will protect it and not well, they're not going to protect it. You don't think so? Well, have, they goes to Congress? have they ever protected anything in the last five six years? I mean, look, this is a, a joke. This is like a, a Jerry Nadler and Cummings, and I mean, they all decided he should be impeached a year ago. A year ago, Nadler was overheard on on the train uh, uh, lining up the impeachment. But so, there's, but there's no serious so, move toward impeachment now, not according to Nancy Pelosi. But they prejudged the president. Collusion, 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 collusion. I was just on with Jerry Nadler. He still thinks there may be evidence of collusion. It couldn't have been clearer on collusion. So you're really asking the president, in all these circumstances, subpoena, to go before a kangaroo court. That it's like saying, oh, you know, I'm going to execute you, but I'll give you a trial first. That's essentially how unfair they've been. Nothing like Watergate. When Watergate was going on, the committees were circumspect, they were judicious. They had the Watergate report for 37 years and it never leaked. These guys can't hold on to a piece of paper for two days before it leaks. So you're accusing the House Judiciary Committee, controlled now by Democrats, obviously there were Republicans, being biased? of running a kangaroo court. Of course, they, Nadler shut, shut, his, shut his mouth off too much. There are too many quotes from him. And then let's just talk about the House Judiciary Committee. It's about the entire House. Uh, the other, the other congressman who announced that it's uh, that he's guilty of uh, collusion, that they have evidence of collusion. Where's the evidence of collusion? Why aren't they called to account for lying? Cohen goes before the House of Representatives. Michael Cohen. He commits perjury at least five times. Two of them demonstrable. He's going to jail, man. We should go to jail for that perjury, not for the earlier perjury. Well, he has another charge of lying to Congress. Look, but, I'm, but, I'm, but I don't see Cummings asking for him to be. Uh, prosecuted. Remember coming to the beginning of the hearing said to him, if you lie now, we will throw the book at you. Well, he lied once, twice, three times, four times. Five. I got tapes that prove he's lying. I don't see Cummings throwing the book at him. Where are these tapes? Pardon me? Are you going to provide these tapes? He has them. It's Chris Cuomo. He said, I never asked for a job. Right, I right, could right. play Chris Cuomo's tape contemporaneous saying, I asked for the job of uh, chief uh, of staff to the president of the United States. Right. Direct lie, direct perjury. It is, it is required, really, when somebody cooperates, 
and then they lie after, that a prosecute you, prosecute you. Speaking because of Chris that is Cuomo, part of the prosecution of Cuomo, agreement. You, you were on with Chris Cuomo. You, you said that he should apologize and CNN should apologize for their coverage of the Mueller decision. Absolutely. Why? Collusion, 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 collusion. Uh, blockbuster. Papadopoulos, blockbuster. It's going to show collusion. Manafort, blockbuster. Going to show collusion. Blockbuster. Eight times, nine times. Totally... Uh, totally biased, prejudiced reporting, creating a hysteria over what turns out to be something that is not true. Well, now, I, I've been critical of the coverage, saying that at times it was overwrought and overhyped. I'm talking about all the media coverage here. Um, but on the other hand, this was an investigation authorized by the president's own deputy attorney general, 37 indictments. I've covered investigations where nobody ended up getting charged. It doesn't mean the stories were illegitimate. And yet you say the networks should apologize. They should apologize for over, what they over hyping for? the case, yeah. for not giving balanced coverage. NBC puts out the Lester Holt interview. They this even, is the one when right after James now, Comey was fired. Now, if you right after CNBC, Comey was fired in 20. I just did it this morning. If yeah. you go on CNBC and you Google it, you just get the first part of the interview. You got to go to the transcript to get the second part of the interview. It's in the second part of the interview where he completely exculpates himself by saying, "I believe that by doing this, I was going to extend the investigation and make it longer." Now, how can you be obstructing an investigation you just extended by firing, by firing Comey? But they leave that out. They don't emphasize that. They bury it. And the first time they covered it, they buried it. I can give you so many examples of that. My God, the coverage was so biased that it is embarrassing. And they should have apologized. They painted him as guilty before he was proven innocent. Well, during the coverage, you appeared on just about every network as the president's personal lawyer. Uh, and during that time, you took a lot of personal criticism from the press. So uh, there were missteps. I mean, look, there were some missteps where you had to come out with clarifying statements. Uh, Rudy, oh, well, well, uh, Rudy's, Rudy's lost his fastball. Rudy's not a good advocate of the president. Do you feel, looking back, that you were diverting heat from Donald Trump? No, I felt like they tried to twist everything you say mm -hmm. in a way that they wouldn't have done to Avenatti. I can go on an interview with one of them and one of me, and the, one of them will be given by uh, the press nice softball questions, never interrupt. I go on, they begin to interrupt immediately. Immediately. Oh, no, it must be. That's not that. I, I can tell. I'm not a jerk. I mean, I, I understand their bias. Look at Rachel Maddow's face just when, look how happy she was that maybe there's some evidence of collusion. As an American citizen, she should be upset that there's evidence of collusion. As an American citizen, they should be happy that the president didn't do anything wrong with the Russians. Well, I think that and they don't want to give it up. Whether you support the president or not, I think that outcome is good for the oh, country. But these people, but, but, these people uh, but, want a political. But you're saying you're saying this is a double standard. You're saying you have been interviewed in a far more, shall we say, prosecutorial fashion we, than people on the other side. Do we really, but are you not saying that you haven't made any mistakes in this process? Of course, I made mistakes. How can you not make mistakes when you're in something as difficult as this? I do think they have to credit the fact that we got a pretty darn good result. And I mean, the, guy, the guys that represented Bill Clinton walked him into a perjury uh, uh, case. I and that see. led to impeachment. Yeah, well... Uh, and acquittal. We don't, we don't, we don't have a, a, a perjury. I'm going to tell you why. First of all, the president was telling the truth. But number two, we really avoided him going before a bunch of very angry, rabid Hillary Clinton-supporting Democrats. Hey, I'm not making that up. Okay, but that's one fine. Of, but one, of them, one of them on that staff was counsel to the Clinton Foundation. That's ridiculous. But if you look, at, totally if you look at the record of Mueller, you spent a lot of time, and the President of the United States spent a lot of time attacking Bob Mueller. You had had a high opinion of him before. Um, in the end, he said he found no collusion. He made no recommendation on obstruction of justice. In the end, do you have to acknowledge now that he was fair? Uh, the result is fair. The way they conducted the process wasn't fair. Not at all. But if the process and was in fact, so unfair, all, how did it lead to a result because they could, that you're pleased with? Isn't that even better evidence that he's innocent? They tried very hard to frame an innocent man, and they weren't able to do it. You know how many times they brought Manafort in from solitary confinement and told him he was lying because he wasn't implicating the president? Maybe 13. Thank God the man has uh, some principles, and there's no evidence that would corroborate it. But they tried everything they could. Right. Listen yeah. to Jerome Corsi, what they did to him. Right. I gotta, How about gotta... morning raids on Manafort and Stone? These, these are not normal prosecutorial and investigative processes in a white-collar crime case. I... This is what you do with a terrorist case. I gotta get a break, and you but... get criticized by the Times for doing it in I gotta a terrorist get a break, case. But just to clarify, Paul Manafort is going to prison after two different... Uh, of course, and, he, yeah. and he should go but to prison. But these are unrelated crime. crimes to any collusion. But you still, you still don't keep him in solitary confinement to try to crack him. All That's right. what you do with a terrorist.